The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater, here with some fresh, brand new Star Wars news for you. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit like, like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out my last video because it greatly helps out the channel. So let's get into it. So we have some intriguing new Star Wars rumors here, one of which points to the live action debut of the Star Wars Jedi video games protagonist, Cal Kestis. The massive popularity of Star Wars Jedi video games has led to a mounting speculation that the force wielding protagonist, Cal Kestis, might one day make the jump to the big or small screen. And we're now hearing that plans are in place for the character to appear in the live action. These details are coming from Daniel Richman, was reporting that Cal Kestis is coming to a live action on Disney Plus. Whether this means a project focusing on Kestis is in a development or the character will appear in another upcoming series is not clear, but with the game set between the events of Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, Cal showing up in season two of Ahsoka, which takes place after Return of the Jedi, seems unlikely, as does the appearance in Skeleton Crew. No idea if Cameron Monaghan will reprise his role, but it would seem like a wasted opportunity if he didn't get the chance to continue playing the character in a live action. This is what Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy had to say about the possibility of a live action Cal Kestis project during a 2023 interview with EW. She said, I've seen a lot of chatter online about that. It could be really interesting. It's not something that's front and center right now at the moment, but what's interesting in the company that we do is everybody across all these lines of business, we all talk to one another. That often doesn't happen in situations like this, but because so many people at Lucasfilm are used to working together, we're very transparent about what the storytelling is, what's going on, whether it's in the streaming space or the movie space or books, animation, games, Whatever it is, eventually it'll be some kind of immersive entertainment. There are many things we talk about just in terms of how we use technology with ILM inside the company. So the constant cross-pollination of ideas is to determine just exactly what stories move into movie space, what stories move into TV space. You never know because the creative process is very similar in those different spaces. And so you don't have a crystal ball. You see what works and then if it does, you draw from that. So moving on to the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, and Richmond has heard that the feature will serve as a final chapter for this particular character's story with no further seasons. However, Dindiger is expected to appear in future Star Wars projects. Wow. I've been hearing a lot of this chatter uh, a lot lately, and frankly, I do now think I made a video about this uh, a little while ago about how Jedi 3 will be the final game in that series. And then my thoughts were like that Cal needed to die in that game. But it looks like we're going to be getting uh, Cal in live action after that, either before or after. But the general consensus is that they want to put Cal in a live action Disney Plus show or movie in between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. So he's not going to end up in a sequel trilogy or you know, after Return of Jedi or anything like that. He's going to end up where he needs to be, which is right there in the dark times, right before A New Hope. Like, there's being so many Jedi that survive after Order 66 and go on to the you know, past the original trilogy. I think Cal needs to you know be where he's at. And of course, they would be foolish not to use Cameron Monaghan because he's so involved. He's so gung-ho about it and you know he always mentions like the possibility of live action how he wants that he he knows they're probably going to be doing that pretty soon and he's just playing his cards close to the chest and as far as this information about the mandalorian goes we'll talk about that a little later but anyway uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you want to see cameron monaghan in live action you know after or before the last game in the jedi Survivor Series, Fallen Order Series. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That would be great. Anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next one. May the Force be with you. Bye. The Force is with you, young Skywalker.